The lonesome mating call of a single prairie chicken echoes through the wheat fields and patches of prairie near Lockwood, Missouri. Conservation officials have dubbed him Chuck. They say he's one of the last of his kind in that area. We're losing a, an icon of the prairie. Uh, you need to recognize that the landscape has changed over the last 50 years significantly. Thousands of acres of prairie used to dominate the western edge of Missouri. Now, it's mostly farmland. Well, this is a 320 acre prairie. This is a postage stamp in the life of a prairie chicken. The chickens contend with barbed wire fences, dirt roads, and unusual weather patterns. Before the droughts, we had the wet springs, you know, three or four or five wet springs. That really hurts your production uh, for as far as successful nests. A big problem in prairie conservation is that fescue grass trickles in from nearby pastures and ditches, and it's not the right kind of habitat for a prairie chicken life. So it makes it difficult for small chicks to be able to move around through that. At one time, the area supported a thriving population. But in the last few years, the area has lost nearly 60 chickens. And it's a statewide phenomenon. You know, even 50 years ago, uh, the prairie chickens were actually a nuisance. Uh, there were so many in the crop fields, you know, eating the crops and things like that. We had a viable population here just 10 years ago, but obviously we don't have the habitat to sustain that. <laughs> Conservationists could try to move Chuck to another prairie or bring in other hens, but whether he mates or not, his chances aren't good. We're not gaining anything. I mean, nature needs to play out here and, t and nature will take its course. The isolation has made Chuck incredibly territorial. Now he spends his days calling out to a mate he might never find.